Welcome back to Hero Sinky. And last time I remember, Dan here showed up at the wrong place at the wrong time. But now, we must head back down. and get some answers. And I do mean answers. Point where shotguns don't mean shit to Ultraman. Sure, why not? There really is a secret compartment. Wow, he wasn't kidding. This is a mountain of dynamite. There's an alarm clock. I can use it to make a timer detonator. Done. I'll go get Kenta and leave this nightmare town. Yeah, it's gonna take us a while till we get to another level. 30,000 experience? Yeah, that's gonna take a while.
Now we get the kid. If we can, in order. Yeah, we ain't got time for that mess. I just said we ain't got time for that mess. All done? Great. Here, I'll give you this as reward. Oh, it's an Ultra 7 badge. Are you sure? It must be important to you. It's fine, it's fine. Here, I'll put it on for you. But... Oh, all right. Okay. Let's get out of here. Keep them off me, okay, Dan? Okay, we're gonna adios. Nope. We're whooshing. We're whooshing. We're whooshing out of here. Not worth it. We're just whooshing out of here. Left of the now. Six was supposed to be the fourth city founded on the land of light. However, four is an unlucky number in our culture. So we decided to skip it and call it the fifth city instead. But that, that was the fourth city. A nightmare born from a place that wasn't meant to exist. This forest like my own backyard. We have to go this way, I think. Now, um, this way. Excuse me, where did you find that badge? Oh, this? Uh, I got it from a kid. I guess it's someone's body, and I'll, I'll take it off. Uh, from a kid? Uh, could you describe him? Young boy, ruffled brown hair. Kind of cheeky, but he had very clear, pure eyes. Should have lived here in the States. His name is Kenton. That's my grandson. My Kenton. He didn't mention his grandpa and said he was looking for you. I lost sight of him in the forest. Did he make it back safely? Kenta passed away three years ago. He went out to play in the forest, lost his way, and never made it back. What? When I finally found him, he was laying sit under a tree, as if he was sleeping peacefully. Even now, Kent has lost in that forest. He showed me the way to this town. Now I understand why the robots never die. The poor boy has finally found the way to a town. The, the fourth city rather than the real thing. Would you give me that badge? Sure. Thank you. Kent will surely come to take it back. He will finally find his way and leave that forest forever. You should keep away from the forest to the east. There are magnetic fields there, strong enough to damage most machinery. The 
but it's a real zate. Ah, uh, stranger, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers unless you have some candy for me. actual office building that we're going to. We're trying this again. My man! How's it going? I'm good, thank you. I am good, thank you. So we're going up to the sixth floor, like before. And hopefully this guy is the real thing than what we dealt with in the last part. I need you to open the road to Shaoyang. I am sorry, but that won't be possible. Why is that? This might take a while to expect. Miss Clarice, could you bring us two cups of coffee? I'm not sure I follow your luck. Why did you come here if going to Shao Young? What's so important? I came here to search and destroy the elusive fourth city. The fourth city, you said? I can't say I've ever heard about it. Understandable. That place is not supposed to exist. It's a dreadful place created by and controlled, created and controlled by robots disguised as humans. Interesting. Can you say this place is somewhere inside our top? No, I already dealt with it. The fourth city was within walking distance from Zeng, through the forest. You're talking to me? Thank you, Miss Clemens. Go ahead, Mr. Moboshi. Yes, and thank you. Nothing better than a cup of black coffee. <sighs> okay. hmm. At any rate, your duty here is complete and you need to return to your base. Is that correct? Yes, which is why I really need you to open the route. I will be honest with you. The route is in disarray. I'm not sure where you might end up to if I were to let, let, let. Hmm? Clarice! Clarice! I think I have something stuck. Ah! Uh, don't do it! What is it, Mr. Motoboshi? This is just water. Oh! Um, sorry. I was thinking of something else. Yeah. 
associated with all the years of my life. I see. Anyway, the repairs should be completed soon. I hope you can just wait a bit longer. Very well. Thank you. I'm like the food. <laughs> like the food. Oh. 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 If it were if it were me, I'm like, oh, oh you sit and you, oh, it's it's oh, it's oh. <laughs> I want to play them after all this, after all that happened before that. I, I, um, oh, hi. Oh, you, 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 you you good there. Okay, you you stay good like that. No, no, kid here. I met Alien Metallic. What? Is that true, kid? Yep. He brought me to his base inside the forest. Your name is Isamu? You wouldn't happen to be that, that guy from Macross Plus, right? Just asking for a friend, you know. I just want to make sure. You know, I don't want anything to happen because, you know, weirdness just happened not too long ago. Just in my top open. Yep, he brought me to his base inside the forest. How did you manage to get away from him safely? He asked me can I conquer Dave, and I said no! And he let me go. Just like that? What is he planning exactly? Very good question indeed. One moment. So he says... Just like that. Huh. Yeah, we're maxed out on that. Alien Temper Senior? This is just one. I'm just gonna take the chance and just run. That's okay with you. I'm just gonna run. That's the only reason why. Because it's just one versus two. Yeah. Sacramento. Yeah, we're gonna sell that. But I'm going to heal real quick, like. Margo Jim. Yeah. No, no. Not gonna waste time.
Now wait for time. The way to see it is, if you don't have a full party, don't take the chance. One versus three? Mm-mm. That's just a no. I dare you would come, Tristan, though it took you longer than I had anticipated. Are you alien Nicholas? Yes, this form is simply for convenience sake. Listen well, Ultra Seven. Feet will soon be destroyed by a mighty earthquake. What? Is this your doing? No. This is a natural occurrence. With my superior technology, I will be able to dissipate the earthquake very easily, which is why I want. I want you to appoint Itamu as the city representative. If you were to tell me that Zeke surrenders to me, I promise to save the city. You're just trying to exploit his innocent heart! I am merely offering a peaceful solution, unless you can save this town yourself. <clears throat> yeah, that's it! I'm going to save Zeke myself! You'll never lay your hands on it! Fast, the epicenter is at Mount Ogama, south of this forest. I am here to see how you will deal with the natural disaster. Running out of here. Makes sense to me. Thanks for giving me the next place I need to go. something else like when you get a guide in early in the game that tells you something when you get a guide in late in the game that tells you something mm. I think the next place I need to go will possibly be right where I just left give me a moment okay so since we're away from the shelter we go down All the way right. Oh, be right there. So this time we're going to another place then. Earthquake must be caused by a volcano, which means I should be able to prevent the earthquake by releasing all that energy before it erupts. I need to force the magma to come out early, but how? Even with all my strength, I'll never be able to dig a hole in time. why we need to go here. Or not here. Go 
we do need to go in this area. It won't be long before the volcano lifts. You were digging for treasure on Mount, on Mount Filmless. Yes, me. I couldn't find any gold there. But now, Ogma is a gold mine, I'm sure of it. By the way, do you have any dynamite? I'm run out. I need more. Make me some dynamite. Now, wait. back to Zake. I go back in this building and to the fourth floor. <clears throat> I like the fake bait. There's only a single stick of dynamite here. I feel bad for stealing, but I'm doing it to save their lives. Seventy-four, and that's a magic number. the old man like so. And bring him his stick of dynamite. I can dig that treasure out. Follow me. I give you a lump of gold as a reward. I see. Follow me. These look like the remains of a coal mine. Get that capsule for we're using and some money. Anything else? More money. Do your worst. It's through this wall. I can feel it. It's treasure. Just waiting to be found. Stand back. I'm going to light the dynamite. The Papa, my beautiful treasure. What is this? This, this can't be right. According to my calculation, there should be a vein of gold here. It's the 
that have dug in the other direction. I won't give up. I'll start digging on the other side. Oh, wait, sir. There's magma in there. Besides, that dynamite. Ah, you're right. I think you should call it a day. You should go back to your hut and get some rest. Yes, I think I'll do just that. This cave's connected to the sea. I feel bad for that old man, but this whole place will be filled with magma. I should be able to use that coal dust I saw earlier. magma with this, but I have to get that old man to safety first. Okay, I open the bag. Now let's get him out of here. Sir, you must get to safety. The cave will soon be filled with magma. What? My, my, my treasure! You have to let it go. Please, go back to town. No! I won't give up my treasure! All right, then. Sir, rumor on the street is that there's an enormous treasure or buried near Shangri-La in the Gundam continent. My treasure hoard! I can't let anyone else get to it first! Oh, we're the Shangri-La! Oh. Now for the finishing touches. Good. The air's thick with dust. Time to set it off. And that's how you call the dust explosion. Dan Morboshi. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Morboshi. And lo and behold, all the magma has flowed to sea as planned. And that's how you handle it. in 30 minutes or less. So I think now's a good stopping point and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and in the next part we end Dan's side story. So stay tuned. More of Hero Sinky right after this. Thanks so much for watching.